afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. It's a Tuesday, which means it's cook along day with my favorite chefs. How are you, Abigail? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very good. You look thank so you. divine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Kim? I'm always good, always happy to be in the kitchen. I'm so excited at what I'm seeing, and I'll tell you why just now. It's another edition, of course, of the Afternoon Express cook along. And for the next hour, we'll be preparing dinner along with you in the kitchen. And our, obviously, our guest chef today is um, Abigail Donnelly, and she's the food editor of Taste Magazine. Winter's almost over, but with the bites still in the air, today we're preparing the perfect mouth-watering chili pot, but with the difference. It's a plant-based version, but promises to satisfy just as much as its meaty counterpart. Okay, so we're going very um, plant-based. Absolutely. In, in the loft lately. Well, it is the focus for Woolworths Summer. Yeah. It's, um, and it's really about Woolworths showcasing the consumer how to add a little bit of plant base. We're not making you vegan, we're not making you vegetarian, but we're just celebrating the humble veg. Absolutely. So everyone can relax. We're not indoctrinating you <laughs> no, into veganism. <laughs> the term is a flexitarian, and I like uh, that. Flexitarian. So you, you eat meat a certain part of the week, but then you go like maybe veggie yeah. on the one day, but meat free. And you kind of just, it's, it's more like a whole food philosophy. Yeah, That's it's exactly about whole foods, incorporating exactly. whole foods into your diet. Yeah. And also just being more veggie conscious, so you can get your good serving of, of fruit and vegetable a day. Exactly. Uh, yeah. and also, it's about the environment as well. So, Absolutely. Um, which we really have to look after and care for. Yes, so, yeah. indeed. All good things. Yeah. So to get the ingredient list and a link to the recipe sent to your phone, simply SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMSs are 1 Rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you cook along with us because we are streaming live on YouTube. And if you get stuck, then do call us or if you just want to chat or if you have a question for our guests, uh, which you'll meet just now, um, the, that number to dial is 021-430-9881. Now for dessert though, we're making a clover fruits of the forest cake with the creamiest taste and crunchiest fruit. Uh, you, you, you made sure you added in a bit of like yeah. sweetness the there. The sweetness, hey? but all that sweetness is coming from the fruit that we're adding to it itself, which is kind yes. of great, yeah. It's a beautiful it's still piece healthy. of cake. It's healthy, I love is. it. Healthy and easy to make. Healthy That's the biggest easy. thing. And I think we need something a bit sweet at the end of this chili to kind of like take down that heat a little bit. Absolutely, I'm excited about that. Now for the list of ingredients and the link to that recipe sent to your phone, SMS the keyword clover to 33650. SMSs are one rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Now our special guest today has 18 years of TV and film experience. Clint Brink has solidified his space in the entertainment industry as an actor and sensational musician. He earned his acting stripes in his performance performance as Bernie Backies in the internationally acclaimed film Dollars and White Pipes and has just released a hot new track called Crush. Plus we meet the love of his life, pro athlete and former Miss Namibia Steffi Brink. The two have become known as South Africa's fittest couple. But first, let's give you a glimpse of what Clint Brink and the sequence band will be serenading us with a little later. about you. <laughs> Clint, come on, come on over, explain yourself. Are you, are you singing about your beautiful wife? Of course. She's gorgeous. Hey, I'm a, I'm a blessed man, what can I say? You are a blessed man. Yes, I am. Well, welcome to The Loft. Lovely to have you two Thank here. You. I stalk you, you on much. Instagram. I think our whole team has been stalking you for the past <laughs> two weeks. Um, you guys obviously have fitness in common. You love 
feeling good, you love, uh, you, you promote a very holistically healthy lifestyle from the spiritual to the physical. But tell me about your fitness journeys separately and how it all began for you. Sure. Well, um, for me, I mean, at school, sport, sport was something that I kind of like did part time. You know, the arts were always in the forefront. But I mean, um, uh, uh, swimming and basketball were the things that, that I excelled in at school. And then afterward, um, when I was in university and stuff, you know, I played, um, I played in the, uh, the BSA for a little bit and uh, P, uh, the PBL I played for a little bit. But then Muay Thai was a thing that really started for me, yeah. you know, the Thai boxing and stuff. And then after all of the injuries that I got from Thai boxing, <laughs> 15, 14 years of Thai boxing, wow. um, I went into the amateur, amateur bodybuilding for rehab purposes, you know, and ended up doing that for a couple of years. Hmm. And then uh, fast track 2018, 2016, actually, when we met and, you know, combined vision. Yeah. But for Steph, it's a totally different story. It's her life. It's yeah. your whole life. I started um, being competitive at the age of six, actually. I, I love winning. You love <laughs> winning. <laughs> we all love winning. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. And you've won many times in your life. Twice you won the, um, the, the, the wrestling championship, yeah. right? What was that like? That was quite hectic. Um, at least I was still in primary school, um, which means I wasn't fully developed in this area uh, right, yet. Right. <laughs> um, so I had to... I didn't stop... Uh, doing body uh, um, wrestling. wrestling because I wanted to. I moved away to a different town which didn't have a, yeah. a wrestling coach. So that's the reason why I stopped, but it, that was hectic. But the, the worst was the rugby sevens. Yes, you also yes. played rugby. That was intense. Why because on earth did you play you. rugby? <laughs> My brother's a rugby player and uh -huh. I love rugby. I love the you game. You love it? Yes, I do. Mm. I also did a um, sports and conditioning, um, strength and conditioning for rugby as well, um, of course. So I love rugby and I, tr I thought, let me just try it out and then it didn't And then it stuck. Out. I mean, I just can't imagine <laughs> being on a rugby field and having somebody come at me to tackle me. I'll just be like, ah, yeah. don't tackle me. I, I got a hit <laughs> on my throat. Oh and goodness. I couldn't, I tasted blood, I think, for three hours after the game. I quit. <laughs> you quit? The end then, yeah. But you didn't stop there. You also went on to uh, win Miss World Sports. Wow. That's quite a huge models. accolade. Models aren't, they don't, they just jog and they... Just do the light the weight here and there. <laughs> Yeah, so but you're the real thing. You're the real thing. Absolutely. It was it was a good experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on all your achievements. And uh, let's speak about the achievement that brought the two of you together. How did you meet? Instagram. I heard it's a bit of yeah. DM action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes down. Proper. It went it down. Goes, in the DM. It went down in, in the, the DM. DM for sure. ah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. We uh, kind of like saw each other's profiles through a mutual friend. He saw mine and then, first. Then. Yeah, I did. I, I saw it. Yeah, just obviously. go. Yeah, you got to put that out and there. And then when I saw just picture, don't get it I twisted. Like, <laughs> and I liked a couple of the pictures. I was like, in Namibia? But they look like this in Namibia. I didn't know Namibia was... I didn't know they okay. made them like this. Namibia? Okay. And then I checked out her profile. And then I saw, okay, she's into fitness. She's a pro athlete and all of these things. And I read her captions. I was like, okay, sounds like someone that has a solid... Uh, Head on her shoulders, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I screen munched one of her pics and I sent it to her and I was just like, wow. You were like, wow. I was just like, look, you're beautiful. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did you have those emojis with the I switch? I had with the, with the, yeah, no, with the eyes. With the, the eyes. The love eyes. I was like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> it's a... Uh... I didn't know what to say. <laughs> what did you I say? Know. I was like, okay. And then you so obviously... Shy. Yeah. I'm, I'm very... I'm not reserved, but I'm shy and I... Love. You're cautious, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yes. So eventually you met after, after chatting yes. for a bit. And when you met, what, what happened in your minds? We chatted for about two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. About three weeks. Two and a half, three weeks. Um, and then you were like, I got to get next to you, girl. She came down. When am to, I seeing you? Exactly. She came down to <laughs> SA. And uh, she, she was supposed to do a competition here. Uh -huh. And they were still in the process of people were coming in and settling down and all of these things. And I was like, OK, um, I was supposed to knock off at four. It's 10 o'clock, um, what would you like to do? She was like, yeah, we can meet up. So we had lunch, we went out and I picked her up and 
as I drove up the road, I just saw this purple dress, this mini. No, it wasn't, a, it wasn't. It wasn't a mini. Short. It was short. But I, I love wearing. No, them. you know how the men always get the yeah. details of the the he, relationship wrong. He's like a wrong. mini. No, it it's was like, it was a. Dress. He was wishing like, it was, it was a mini. Like, he was wishing it was a mini. I was like, for me, it's <laughs> like. Imagine me in some of this. For a me, mini it's mini. Is this. this is a mini. <laughs> okay, okay. That is... Then I'm completely wrong. Yes. Anyway, she looked stunning. <laughs> she got into the car, we chatted a little bit, and then we went to Greenside to get something to eat. Um, and it was just so weird for me because usually um, I'm used to either people coming up and saying, hello, nice to meet you, yeah. can I take a pic, and all, all of these things, you know. And for a couple of hours, no one said nothing. It was just quiet. I was like, okay, that's odd. And then we spoke and we chatted. And why, why do you think that was? I don't know. I just don't time know. stood still, Yeah, I just basically. felt like that. Yeah. It's the, you know, the cliche thing, it, yes. was, it was proper like that. So um, I asked if she wanted to continue. And having maybe a slice of cake and coffee, she said, cool. We went over to the car, I opened the door for her, she got in. I walked around while she was putting on a seatbelt. I leaned over and I kissed her and I just, she was like this. And after I said myself and everything, I looked at her, I was like, okay, so where would you like to go? And she said, wherever you want to go. And then we, three months after that, we got married. Wow. What a whirlwind romance. So it's been and now that. it's two years later that you've been married. That's yes. absolutely beautiful. This is um, your wedding? Yeah. Oh, look at that dress. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't raining. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. This is breathtaking. I actually saw these pictures on Instagram. <laughs> now, Clint, you and I met many years ago mm. on backstage. Um, yeah, we from way back. You've been in the industry now 18 years. You've and been in the industry for long. I've been in the industry now for 25 years, oh, a yes. whopping Aww. 25 years. Still at it. <laughs> um, and you, you, your acting, your body of work when it comes to acting is just prolific and recently you um, you're bringing out a film yes uh, the Ellen Paki story yes 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 uh, I was fortunate to form part of the story and um, you know obviously uh, South Africans they they know the Ellen Paki story you know the play yes. has been going around obviously yes. um, and just to get a call from them and, and ask them if I would like to participate and be a part of it for me was great you know it's a it's a story about Cape Town it's it has to do with a lot of the issues. Many social of, issues, yes. You know, yes. a lot of the struggles that people suffer daily, you know, in our communities. Yeah. And um, I think this is also just a nice thing for me. You know, obviously, I've, I've, I've been saying it's, it's not so cool for me that whenever we um, tell stories that it has to do about uh, colored communities, so to speak, you know, there's yeah. always like a overtly either a gangsterism a or gang, a drug thing that happens. Gun, but you drugs. know what the truth is? That's, that's kind of like where we yeah. come from. And, but this is more of a human story. This is someone's, this is someone's life, you know? And um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm super blessed. It premieres tomorrow at the Silver Scatum Fierce. That's amazing. Um, I won't be there though, unfortunately, because you know, we work in. Because you're working. Because we work You're always working. I've always known that about you, and your wife can attest to that. We were chatting earlier about just what a dedicated, hard-working man you are. I mean, he's, he's obviously multi-talented. And I guess when you're that talented, there's a bigger responsibility on you to actually make use of these gifts and to yeah. hone them. Yes. Wow, I'm very excited. You're also going to be performing with us, for us later. And in the kitchen, I'm going to ask you more about the sequence band and your involvement with them. And yeah. Steffi, do you cook much? Or do you guys like eat gym food like canned tuna, what, boiled gym? eggs? <laughs> uh, Sorry. What else? What do gym people eat in? It's chicken and rice. They drink that's their body eggs. Bodybuilding, bodybuilding is chicken and rice. No. Broccoli. Dry, um, yeah. rib, um, what are them? Like chicken, chicken this breasts? Chicken breasts, Just yeah. boiled and stuff? Yeah. No, I love, <laughs> I love grilling my food, but I don't like, She's yeah, a foodie. I'm a foodie, I'm a foodie. You're a foodie, okay. I'm but just... I, I love healthy food, yeah. but it has, some has versatility. to have a, a yeah. taste. I can't yeah. do... Um, just salt and pepper and chicken and rice. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, then you're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> but you guys lucky. are joining me in the kitchen just now. And don't go away because after the break, we put Clint and Steffi's skills to the test as we make a mouth-watering veggie chili pot with Avo Roses for today's cook-along. Remember to head over to our social media platforms and let us know what you wish you could do more with your partner. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. We'll be right back.
guests on Afternoon Express fly domestically with Mango. Enjoy outstanding service, online check-in and seat selection. With the widest booking and payment options, Mango is the only airline globally to accept store charge cards as a means of payment. Fly in comfort with ergonomically efficient seats for more legroom aboard a fleet of new generation Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Join the guests of Afternoon Express and Fly Mango. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Um, as promised before the break, our cook-along is about to begin. And with winter still making its presence known, why not welcome the cold weather by eating the chills away? Today we prepare a mouth-watering chili with the difference. No meat will be used this time. And this plant-based version promises to satisfy just as much as its meaty counterpart. Steffi, I promise. I promise it's going to... I know you said you love your I'm meat. I'm from Namibia, and we do, love Do they love their meat in Namibia? Red meat. Red meat. I'm not talking about... Steak. I'm not talking about um, chicken. Or that's a vegetarian option, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or Namibian, that's a vegetarian. What's that, what's that saying? Uno was a vegetable? What? No, yeah, I like that. Uno was a vegetable. <laughs> to get the ingredient list and a link to the recipe, send to your phone. Simply SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMSs are 1 rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you cook along with us because it is great quality and we are streaming live on YouTube. And if you get stuck, then call us. Or if you just want to chat or you want to give us some tips, on zero two one four three zero nine double eight one. Hmm. Right. I heard you make a comment about these um, emojis. These emojis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we're eating emojis. To okay. the millennials out there, this is an actual. Uh, do they make vegetables. millennial veggies now? Like absolutely, because this looks straight up like the emoji, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does look like an emoji. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually know it's an ingredient we're going to use it today. One of the um, most often, the question you get asked most is how to cook brinjals or aubergines. Or what are the names? Brinjals, aubergines, keep the other one to yourself. And then, uh, <laughs> hey, 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 but hey. in all honesty, people are scared of these. They think that it's like one of the most difficult things to cook. So they don't know what it actually tastes no, like. No, but I feel like it is. It is difficult to cook it. Today, I, it just does the thing that I never wanted to do. No, always. okay. And today I'm going to teach you exactly how to repair this. So, Clint, I'm actually going to get you to do it. Okay. So, you, uh, this is for you. There's your emoji. If Here you can go. start cutting like nice discs out of them. Okay, 100%. You can go as thick as you want. Fine? Doesn't matter. It's all okay. good. Bon, will you do a little drizzle in our player pan there? Okay. And, Clem, do you salt or your brinjals? No, I don't. And I feel like that's like one of the old myths like people like Absolutely. salting their brinjals. But why did they do that? To draw the moisture up. Yes, no? and the bitterness. And the bitterness. Because the, the way they grow the brinjals today, the varieties, they've they've cancelled that all out to make it easier. True story. So you have to do that, yeah. yeah. I've never done it. And it's and like we eat brinjals like once a week. Yeah, and it's half an hour with process to do that. <laughs> okay. 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 With the meat, yeah. But more brinjals than meat. Than meat, okay. Love it. And that's the whole idea with plant-based. We're not making you vegan. We're not making you vegetarian. But it's just getting, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's really kind of getting more interesting vegetables and grains into your, yeah. into your lifestyle. Value. Exactly. And yeah. we're also saying just and be conscious exciting. about what you're eating and what you're yes. putting into your body. And yeah. Examine exactly. it, look at it, like yeah. so you pay guys attention. use olive oil, no coconut oil. We do you use can. coconut. You I'm can. Ask you. I'm just yeah, yeah. You can yeah. use macadamia. Woolworths has the most amazing variety of olive oils. Macadamia, and almond, avocado, olive oil. oil. Exactly. Avocado, you can you oil avocado oil. Yeah. Yes, you can. Uh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't really have a flavour. But also, I think a lot of people think when they hear plant-based food. They kind of think, oh, you know, it's not delicious, it's, it's too healthy. But it's not, because you can delicious. have delicious fats. Yeah. You can have these beautiful harsh avos. Mm. You can have olives. You can deep fry carrots, put them in your veggie burger. You can make a vegan mayo with lots of olive oil. It must be delicious. Yes. You know, it's, you're not, it's a lifestyle. You're it's not, not there to, yeah. Yeah. to lose a bit of weight or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. 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 All okay, eyes on you. All okay, eyes on back, you. Back over here. So let me just so we're gonna cook, the trick is to actually cook them. I say like a steak. Okay. So the trick is, if we're gonna season it, season it lightly because it is moisture in there. You don't want to draw that out of the brinjals. Mm. Then it's gonna steam. Same thing like mushrooms. Season it while it's in the pan. Yeah. You want to get that nice caramelized flavor on there. So we spoke about that bitterness. Yes. There's sugar inside the brinjal already. Mm. By adding it to the pan, just like a steak, you're gonna caramelize those sugars. It's gonna become a little sweeter, a little more savory. So. Don't put the salt on it. So season it when it's in the pan. Cool, let's see. Yeah. You want it to also sizzle like a steak, okay? Okay. So if it doesn't sizzle like a steak just yet, I'm gonna throw it to Abby and you're gonna start working on the base of our chili. Okay, of our, can of I do that now? Let's see. Okay, can I? 
Okay, it's not okay, hot enough. Right. So over to you. So okay. you're going to work on the base of so our chili what, salon. Yes, so the base is olive oil. You can use whatever oil you want. Coconut oil, you can use the sunflower, but it's all about the flavor. I always add a little bit less because it's plant-based and you need the flavor as well, um, which makes up for a little bit of meat fat. Yeah. So Spanish smoked paprika, I think the big secret ingredient is flavoring, flavoring your veggies, yeah. is spices. Spices are your best friend. Um, have a whole array in your cupboard and just experiment. And do you ever spoil Steffi and do the cooking? Every now and again. Every I make, now yeah, and I make some mean, <laughs> mean, mean eggs. Is he yeah. talking? Not every she's now, now maybe drinks. every once a month. And then yes. she's mad at me because it's that good. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> stay, you know. <laughs> Okay, cool. Right. Steve, can I ask you to chop? The, I want to ask you to chop the onions. That will be cruel. Um, um, yes, add please, the tomatoes. The add the tomatoes. The we can How add. You want it? Just like small in a small little dice. Okay. Okay. So you, what have we put in here? We so put Bonnie, paprika, beautiful Spanish cumin. smoke paprika, because you want that smoke smokiness. Yeah. That's beautiful. If you have a luxury of getting like a beautiful smoky extract also divine mm. because you can make smoked brinjals which are beautiful your beautiful smoky um sweet potatoes what we've yes. got here mm -hmm. and what's great is about the sweet potatoes different colors which is adds variety yes. it's all about your base your color your crunch and your drizzle yeah and that's what we're going to do this summer in Woolies is we're going to tell the consumer or show the consumer don't go how away, to do that sorry she you yes. dropped it yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> and i'm talking too much and i need some onions well don't burn your spices okay um so, so you don't want them to, to burn no absolutely Should I not stir them? can you bonnie yeah thanks i'm going to chuck in you can add leeks if you want i love what? I love using leeks, they add like a beautiful subtleness mm -hmm. and a sweetness ah. um, to your base, but these red onions are also absolutely I love fabulous. red onions, they're so yeah. flavorful. Exactly, yeah. And again, you know, just put them in a little, cut them into little pickles, put some warm um, red wine vinegar over. Oh my gosh, Clem, am I talking to my... <laughs> oh, Clem, how oh, rude! Oh, 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 <laughs> Okay. So rude. So rude. I'm sorry. No, we're loving it. We're loving it. We're loving it. We're learning. So, by the way, we got the brindles in to the pan. Are they going to start stirring? Like I said, like a steak. We're not going to turn it over just yet until we know we've got some nice brown color at the bottom. Beautifully chopped. So, Andy, we spoke about the tomatoes. You can obviously use tin tomatoes. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Add a little bit of tomato paste, mm -hmm. a little bit of like um, sofrito, which comes in the beautiful tubes. Yes. Love that. That's got all your kind of onions and green pepper oh, and really? carrots already it? done. Is it Sofrito. Onion and tomato in a tube already? Yes, like in a, a paste. paste. But it's got your flavouring. Oh. Like canned tomatoes that are, yeah, come with basil Super or mixed herbs. Yeah. Okay. How so are you doing with your other tomato there? Oh, I'm doing fine. good. You see, oh, maybe cut that. Oh, and prime. So wow, good. so divine. And with this, you know, I'm going to add chickpeas to it as the base, yeah. which is going to give you the base and the crunch. But you could add butter beans or lentils or a mixture of a whole lot. Could you add mung beans? I would probably, yes, you could, you yeah. could, you could. And mm. instead of the North African spices that we're doing here with the chilli, you could make it into a beautiful curry. Absolutely, you're so Fresh turmeric, with curry. Yeah, yeah and your coconut good. milk. You know, that's what mm. plant-based is about. It's just about... Flavouring. Flavouring. And it's you know? also about experimenting. It's actually not boring exactly. at all. Exactly, yeah. Sorry. And it's great to like share, have a dinner party and do plant-based. Yeah. You know, which will inspire you and your yeah. friends to, to do more plant-based. Yeah. I've okay. seen more and more moms actually um, making plant-based snacks at their children's parties now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like date balls, then little exactly. um, pumpkin cakes. Mm. Yeah. And the kids can't tell the difference. Exactly. <laughs> and obviously there's sugar as well. True sugar. Yeah. yeah. How hectic is your diet right now with the training routine that the both of you are following? Well, it's about, it's it's about to, to uh, you know, go up a notch. Um, Yes. But I mean, when you're, when you're yeah. eating for performance, you're not necessarily eating for aesthetics, you know, you're not yeah. eating to look a certain way. So you have oh. to make sure that the calorie in intake that you have is sufficient for your energy output for whatever it is you're doing. And, um, you know, since I'll be prepping for a boxing match now, I need to make sure that I drop weight. You're so, boxing as well. Yeah, I've got a celebrity boxing match that I'm uh, wow. partaking in on the 3rd of November. Both of us, both of us. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Steph is first so, boxing match. Do you guys know Roxy Lowe? Yes, yes. we super. love her. Yes, yes, of course. So you love so her. So you're, you're I do going love up her. against you, Roxy? Yes, you have to choose that one. Oh, gosh, yes. Okay. Team wow. Steph. Right. Okay. 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 okay, sorry, Roxy. Yeah. I choose you. Yes, but Roxy is tall, right? Yeah, she's tall. So, okay. sure. Never underestimate I don't want to get into a fight with the two of you. I mean, obviously, no. you guys are not allowed to, to lay hands on each other in the middle of a fight because well, it's going to go scared. down. I'm just scared because she's um, a hurdler, 100 meter sprinter. She's done wrestling now, she's doing boxing. What chances do I have at survival? What? <laughs> <laughs> she's done. Can I just say something about the chickpeas? I've added the chickpeas. 
Now, they, these have been drained. Don't waste your, your beautiful brine. brine. Because of plant-based, you want to make a beautiful mayo. Oh. A vegan mayo without eggs. And that brine, you just add, and hey presto, mm -hmm. you've got yeah. a beautiful yeah. vegan egg-free I love that mayo, too. and it's delicious. I, I think we made it together too. once. Yes, we did. We did. Yes, but I yeah. wouldn't mind us making it again. But we're going to exactly. take a short break, <laughs> and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Afternoon Express Cook Along yes. live on SABC3 where the stage is yours. So remember you can also call us live on 021-430-9881 for any questions or comments or you just want to chat or you want to chat to Clint and Steffi uh, as we continue with today's mouth-watering recipe. Now to get the ingredients list and the link to the recipe sent directly to your mobile, um, SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMSs are around 50 each and no free SMSs apply. So just to give you a recap of what we did before the break, we started to um, brown our brindles, right? And how good do they look? They, they look really good. I've never seen a brindle behave this well. <laughs> I think it's, it's amazing. Like some control it's amazing. Yeah. You've got the Midas touch. And then this side, yeah, we've started our chili base. Beautiful. We, yes. we fried our onion and our tomato, um, spices. some spices. And we've just popped in our roasted um, sweet potato. Sweet potato, yes. You could use butternut, but it's sweet okay. potato. We've yeah. got some chickpeas in there as well. And now we've just added some carrots. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Right. Thanks, Clem, for adding the it's carrots that quite, I forgot. Um, it's quite <laughs> moist. You could add red pepper. Yes, exactly. If you wanted a more like gravy, mm. add a can of coconut milk. Also ah, absolutely divine. Yeah. yeah. It's looking yeah. really great. Good. Right. And then, okay. Clem, what you could do with hamburgers, if the bigger brindles, you could fry off big fat steaks yes. instead of a bun, instead if you wanted to. That would be also oh, divine. Wow. Hey? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I think those are looking really good. Like you, like you have cooked it like a steak. It's caramelized, you don't want to overcook it as well, so it's nice and juice in the middle. So that can go into the pot. Absolutely. And then while we're doing that... Why is it looking so ro like crispy and roasted? Is it just minimal? See, is it because of minimal oil or high heat? Another or thing is about brinjals the is they like fooling you, like they're quite greasy. So you add into a pan <laughs> and it's got oil in it. Suck it'll suck up all that oil and you keep on adding and then you'll be done half a bottle of olive oil. And when you take them out the pan and they're busy resting on the on your plate, they'll release all that oil again. Yeah. So don't let them fool you. They've got enough, okay? 
So you can see, with a little bit of oil that we've had mm -hmm. in that pan, it's browned off perfectly. Yeah. They're quite a temperamental vegetable, hey? You know what, uh, again... Sounds a little bit like me. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you like, is, is the brinjal your oh, like, spirit vegetable? I'm a lot vegetable? of work. I'm a lot of work. I'll spay. <laughs> no, no, no. But okay. That's exactly, that's how easy it is. I mean, you can, you can vouch for that. That was not hard at all. Yeah. No, it was no. really cool. And again, another trick, we didn't add salt too soon in the beginning. You okay. can actually season it now, and we can pop, pop it into the chili. But, Abby, I want to show, ask you yes. to present our beautiful avo rose today. Because ask them, I've been doing season. one for ages. Yeah, no, but you know what? We're putting it on the spot today. Okay. Avos are in season right Son, now. Son, okay. avos are always in season. <laughs> Forever. Forever. <laughs> but soon, look out for the gem avo. Oh, yeah. That is that what, big what kind of whopper is that? of a gem. Is it's it the beautiful. green, the smooth-skinned one? Yes, but okay. it's beautiful. Emerald green, emerald green inside. It's smooth. It's got the most unbelievable mouthfeel of creaminess. Wow. It really is, yeah, it's great. I mean, that alone is just like plant-based. So what kind of abos are there? There's Haas. There's Haas. There's Jim. Jim. And Clem. Fuete. Oh, Fuete. 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 And that's a thin that's, skin yes, one. Yes, that's a thick, yeah, that's thin. That's, that's a thin. thin. And then the Haas is what your... I, what I love about the Haas is it's thick. So it's so easy to mm. peel. I mean, just look at that. Yes, it is. Just a sharp knife down the middle. And I mean, oh, look at I that colour. It's yeah. absolutely insane. I love Abos. And then I mean, just, me too. Yeah. yeah. And I think people often, my grand used to buy them brick hard and then put them in a brown paper bag in the yeah. cupboard and then always forget them. So they were always brown. Oh. Um, but if you have brown Avos, I've got a great, on the Taste website, a beautiful Avo cake made with brown Avos. With brown Avos. Instead so of bananas. you don't throw them out. Because it's, mm. it's got a beautiful oiliness. So yeah. So that's my ever kind of trick. No, God is definitely in a good mood the day you made up. <laughs> Absolutely. And then also when you want to buy your avos, right, just don't go and squash all the avos and ruin them for the rest Bonnie. of the people behind. Bonnie. Um, <laughs> just point, just... We all squash the avos. Guys, it's just a moment avos. of truth. All How many of do... you squash avos? No, everyone, no. everyone no, feels the avos. I don't want to make guacamole in the skin. <laughs> you want to make guacamole with a, with a fork or something. <laughs> so basically if you just pop that little, whatever you call it off there, it's done. Okay, but then if I walk into a shop and I yes. pop this little thingamajiggy off, yes. and then there's no thing to pop for the next person who wants yeah. to do it. But if it comes yes. out, and then, then you buy, buy it. it. Then I buy it. Yeah. If you and break also, it, you I buy suppose, it. And also, in all fairness, <laughs> often the avos, sometimes you can buy them at Woolworths are loose, but mm -hmm. they are often in a packet already, so you can't do that trick. Mm, but I mean, no, they already, really they know about you. eat yeah. and, and done it perfectly yeah. for And you. when Woolly says the avo's right, they mean it's right. They mean it's, it's right. Like, on the, it's, it's on, it's you've now. got it on the exactly. money. It's you've now. got to have it on now. that day. Yeah. <laughs> but look how fabulous these, these thick skinned ones are. They're my absolute favorite. They are lovely. Yeah, you can They're put a little bit of lemon. as well, eh? Yes, exactly. So okay, I'm so, so we, excited to learn how to shall I do it on shape the avo's into roses. Yes, me too. I haven't done it for a while. Okay, so just little bit of patience. Talking about um, buying them in the right now, how do you yeah. store your avos? Fridge? Fridge? No. No. If they're right, don't. If they're don't. right, don't you put them in the fridge? No, no I don't like to put my... In the fridge. Yeah, tomatoes and avos are one thing that I don't like in the <gasps> fridge. Lettuce really? loves the fridge, but I, yeah. It's... What if it's really hot? Mm. Yeah, but then you eat it. I mean, do you it, put you know? them in like a, a dark cupboard? Well, you, in a cool place. Cool I wouldn't put it in the sun, but yeah, just somewhere yeah. in your, you know, sometimes don't put near your bananas because then they'll oh, ripen yeah? and then the bananas, will, oops, then the bananas will also ripen yeah. too fast. Oh, hey? okay. Yeah. Okay, so then we're just going to squash it. I know. We're okay. going to squash it. Make sure your avos aren't too soft. Oh, my God. No, okay, fine. This okay, is fine. kind of not I'll what I saw on YouTube. I'll stop, <laughs> I'll stop putting my avos um, in the fridge hoo -hoo. now. Okay, let's but we squash. Got it. Yeah, you okay. got it. You got well, it. Well, it's a heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. It's a tulip. Yeah, it's a, a tulip. Okay, an orchid. <laughs> let's but get we've got there. a plate inside. There were some oh other avo roses. You can yes. actually see how we presented. I mean, oh, yeah, I bet you practiced all day for those. All day. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's he pretty He did, and cool. I was trying to show up how like, yeah. cool is that? Oh, but that is cool. Oh. Oh. No. That is cool. Nope. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. All right, but now, Clint, yes. because it's all vegan and it's plant-based, we're going to make a cashew nut sour cream. So oh. it's a bit different. We can't go and use the... You can buy sour cream if you want. We also had a great suggestion from Abby to go and buy the cashew nut butter and use coconut milk for that. But we're going to make it from scratch today. So so a, an interesting thing to note is that you activated these, um, yes. these cashews. You soaked them in water for about, what, like three hours or you overnight? Can, yeah. Overnight is, for, is best, but I mean, if you only have three hours, it's fine. Right. Why do we soak them? Because hmm. the texture of the cashew nut, when you can think about it, is quite crunchy, right? Mm. So by soaking it, it sucks up all that moisture and becomes creamy. Like, let me just smush it. 
you smush it, you can really see yourself breaking apart yes. in my hands. Mm. Right. And that's what happens when you soak a mantle mm. clean for putting it back in there. Oh, lovely. So, Kim, oh, sorry. Just in time, we have a caller on the line, <laughs> Roxana from Durban. Hello, Roxana, welcome to Afternoon Express. Hello, Bonnie, good to chat to you. I'm yes. telephoning because I've got a super idea of how to peel avos, which I use regularly. Mm -hmm. You pop, you boil your kettle, pour boiling water over the avo, and count 30 or about that, and yeah. the avo will peel as easily as a tomato in oh. hot water. Oh, really? I've got to try that. You have to come and show me that because I've tried That's... that trick and, I, is and, it not, and it didn't work for me. Maybe the water so, didn't boil. Cheese. <laughs> 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 Roxana, I will try that. Roxana, do, is that for any avo? Like the hard skinned ones, the thin skinned ones, all of them? I use all of them, providing the avo, avo is ripe. Okay. 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 I'm going to try that. Okay. Thank Good you so luck. much for that tip. We're going to try it. <laughs> all right. Cool. Bye. 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 Okay. Cool. Now that's the creamy part. Stunning. Amy, can I get a line from you? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Can I throw it? A nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, if you can just halve that for me. So, so obviously you heard that job. tip before and you yes, tried it. Yes, I tried it. Yep. But yeah, maybe my ever wasn't ripe enough. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah. I'm going to try it again because okay. I think that's great. Clem, could you use almonds in there or macadamias or won't they soak up as enough water? They actually will. The almonds okay. will yes. soak up and give it like Divine. a nice creamy texture. The macadamias yeah. as well, but I find it's a bit too rich. It's quite oily. Yes. So it makes it a little too rich. Okay. Cashews for me are really great. I mean, yeah. I've not tried it with peanuts yeah. yet. But I'm pretty sure you'll get a well, great peanuts texture. Peanuts would be divine, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yes. But not the salted ones. I raw, mean, hey. raw, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can add your own salt. Okay. So, that's our sour cream oh, done. Look at how creamy that is. It looks, it looks oh, like stunning. we've added what? cream to that, but oh, we haven't. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Definitely. What? And just Amazing. like Evo's, they've got the good fat in there. So, I mean, yes. it's, it's fuel. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm going to season that. You've got a, a done version of our chili. Can you open that up for us? Voila! Wow. And you get a good wow. mix. You can give it a mix salon. Oh, look at that. Making noise. That looks they, awesome. Steph, do you want to stir that all? Yeah. Right. So look what we have to do that. now is garnish. So some fresh spring onions. Clint, you're a master with the knife in the kitchen. I'm just hey, saying. That's the that one thing that I should get right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> there we go. And then some coriander. And once that gets added to the pot, we're going to top it with our beautiful sour cream. And then I'll take on a guacamole. Abby, can you hold that up for me? The other, uh, the, the black uh, plate? Your one. Yeah, that's like Not I'll take on a guacamole. <laughs> with a beautiful, like, Some, wow. stunning. There we go. Okay, yeah. cool. And that's how easy dinner is. That's how easy peasy dinner. Yeah. Okay. And so, plant based dinner. And all plant based. Plant -based. <laughs> Very healthy. So, you, um, all we have in there is, is water and activated um, cashews. That's right. And a little bit wow. of a sort of bit of lime just to, to get that that sour element. Yeah. Okay. And then you could add seasoning. garlic. You could add garlic absolutely. if you wanted to like give it a <gasps> give it a punch. Lunch. Absolutely. Yeah. I definitely add garlic. Yeah. Garlic. Yeah. I love garlic. And that so, on a veg burger as well. Now, do you stunning. guys do you guys do um, fresh garlic cloves? Yes. Or? Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. fresh. I, love I also yeah. love them roasted. Yeah. Clem and I are yeah. fans of that roasted garlic. Huh? This is definitely a dish you're going to want to make. So get the ingredients list and the link um, to the recipe sent um, to your phone by simply SMSing EAT to 33650. Now join us after the break as we make a clover fruits of the forest cake with the creamiest taste and crunchiest fruit. Plus later, Clint treats us with a performance of his latest song alongside Yay. the sequence band. <laughs> we'll be right back. There's a new face on Expresso, your number one feel-good breakfast show. I am Tabi Somakubela and join me with South Africa's favourite morning television family. Wake up, shake up and feel good with us for three hours of the best breakfast entertainment. Start your day the only way with us at Expresso Morning Show weekdays from 6 to 9 a.m. on SABC3. The, the stage, stage is, is yours. And yours.
the fruits of the forest, creamy and fruity. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Our cook-along is underway, but it's about to take a sweet turn. Now, Clover Fruits of the Forest offers you a truly fruitful bounty with every spoonful. And on our cook-along today, it is the hero ingredient in a Moorish Fruit of the Forest cake recipe. And to get the ingredient list and a link to the recipe sent to your phone, simply SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMSs are one fifty each and no free SMSs apply. And Clem, let's get this party started. Where do we begin? Yeah, again, a very, very very simple cake um, recipe. The sponge is the easiest thing in the world. So, Bon, I've got some butter and sugar that I've kind of mixed together, which is called creaming. Oh, if okay. I can ask you, let's actually see, let's do it backwards. Let's actually add the egg to this. You can mix those two together. In here, I've got flour, baking powder. That's going to be our leavening agent to give it a bit of a rise, baking soda. So that's okay. in there. Butter, sugar, egg. Uh -huh. Just a question, Clem. Yes. Sometimes when um, when I'm baking and I'm a bit lazy and I didn't and my butter is mm -hmm. a bit hard. I put it in the microwave and then melt and melt it and then mix it with the sugar. But I feel like that has a different effect. Is that it does. True? It's a different effect. It's, it's not, not it's the not, right it's, effect. It's hey? not wrong. It's not right. wrong. You're going to end up with a different style cake. You Texture. Know? Yeah. So the reason when you do all that mixing with the butter that's slightly hard, it actually breaks down the sugar crystals to become oh. smaller. Okay. I still, I'm not angry about the fact when it's a, when it's a liquid. It's just, it's just fine. You're not going to get as creamy texture like this. I see. Okay. okay. But it's not wrong. It's not. My mom does exactly the same. But it's an important technicality. Yeah. Okay. Totally fine. So cool. I'm happy with that. You want to add that? Okay. So we can add this. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to use the... Swap the... around. Cool. And while you do that, I'm going to add some grenadilla pulp. Can I make it kind of tropical? Grenadilla pulp, okay. Yeah. It gives it a nice zing as well. So where we got the fruit on the top, it's going to be nice and sweet. This is a bit tangy. Mmm. Even saying grenadilla, my mouth starts watering. <laughs> and I feel the same thing. You love grenadillas. I do. But if you think about it, when you eat it, that does happen in your mouth, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. It draws those um, juices from the sides of your tongue. There okay, we go. Cool. I'm adding all of it. It's fine, just like that. Perfect. Then, while I'm mixing, can you get our Berries! The, my our, favorite fruit. Our fruit okay. of the forest first. Okay. So we we've go. got here a cape fruit. The cape fruit. Yeah. There okay. we go. And then that's going in there. It's got the most beautiful, beautiful flavors as well, because I mean, they're using real fruit. So and Lovely. again, we're Lovely. always trying to get the kids to eat more fruit and vegetables, and this is the way to do it. So it's a nice wet batter, just like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. If I can ask you to put that down for me on the Absolutely. side. Absolutely. So now the trick about the, the berries. So you didn't measure that, you just kind of... I know the, the texture you're looking for and the recipe ah. is on the website. So when you SMS to get the recipe, all the quantities you get... All the measurements get, there, Exactly. Okay. I, I, I've been doing this. I know. I know, I know you're this. a pro. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so let's talk about the butter. It comes out looking like this. Now the next step is this to layer... This is the texture we want. This is the texture you want. And when it's thought you start layering the, the fruits. You can mm. add them to the batter, totally fine. Okay. But there's something quite like special about seeing the cake like it's this. It's quite festive, It's hey? very festive. Take me to Christmas like right now. Absolutely. There we go. So, we've got some fresh raspberries. I was going to say Christmas in, in July, but it's now Christmas. In, it's done. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's done, yeah. Okay. But um, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, all in season now. So add that to your cake. If it does come to the part of December and there aren't any fresh fruits and uh, fruits like this available, use frozen. Use frozen. Use frozen. I was about to say, I've got a whole bunch of frozen berries. I'm never without frozen berries at home, so there we go. I'll always have those. And then while we're doing that, I mean, I love peaches. What do we got? We've got some tin peaches I do, there. I do love tin peaches. So I've okay. got some, and you can layer those on top. There we go. Oh, we can actually use that one. Open. Lay them on top as well. I was about to break well. a nail. Don't okay. be breaking nails Don't in the kitchen. Don't break those nails. No. I don't allow my girlfriend to grate anything in the kitchen. Aww. I'm like, no, baby, give that to yeah, me. Yeah, because otherwise you grate your nail. Yeah, that's how you show and love. And then people have to eat your nail. No, and if Bay grates your cheese for you... <laughs> Nobody talks about that. No. I'm sure everyone at home is cringing like, oh, can't but believe she said that. <laughs> so if, if Bay grates your cheese for you, he's the one. Okay, just I'm just saying. Really? Yeah. I'm going to run that by him. I'm going to say a, a very, very amazing chef said that if you grate cheese for me, you're the one. Let's see what he says. We'll okay. see what he says. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, cool. So there we go. Beautiful, beautiful laid um, fruits on top. And I want to add a bit of nightiness and a bit of caramelization. So a little bit of brown sugar, demerara sugar. And if you wanted it, to, if you wanted to just kick it up on the healthy notch, Tell could me. you use coconut sugar? Absolutely. That's Absolutely, another flavor right? that you get right there. Yes. So there we go. This kebab goes to the oven. It comes looking like that to make it seem like Christmas. A little bit of icing sugar on top. I would even say that with another dollop of fruits of the forest. On the side. Wow, Christmas certainly came early Can't today. Can't wait. 126 you, days, 125 days, I think, left. Exactly. Yeah, look at that. So remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this delicious fruity dessert recipe sent to your device. And in case you missed it, watch this.
Made with love by Clover. I can't wait to sit down with our guests and, and uh, taste the scrumptious meal that we've made in this beautiful cake. But still up ahead on the show, uh, Clint performs for us with the sequence band. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Clover fruits of the forest. Creamy and fruity. Made with love by Clover. One, two. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's the moment we've all been looking forward to on the show today. Now, Clint Brink has co-produced co and co-written numerous albums. He's also worked on a myriad of singles with the music industry elite. And for the first time in The Loft today, he's performing his latest single with the sequence band titled Crush. this 
Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.